Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Oman and I'm here today to talk to you about a problem that we have on hand. At Tampa Electric, the parking, the parking structure for employees that are commuting to work has been an issue for the past couple of years. In this presentation, we will talk about we will talk about the analysis of the situation, the problems that we have, the problems that we have on hand. We'll provide a recommendation and strategic solution for how we can fix this. And finally, we'll also look at the impact of how this uh, plays out for the employees of Tampa Electric. So this is my introduction. As we can see that the current parking infrastructure in, is insufficient for Tampa Electric employees. We see that as of right now, there's not enough space for employees who are forced to look for street parking or other forms of, or other forms of private parking. And this also has a, leads to a large uh, delay of traffic and problems throughout in the morning for commuters. And in the first point, we look towards the analysis of parking for Tampa Electric employees. As we can see, the key, take, the key point as of right now is the current state of parking for Tampa Electric employees creates a burden for them in the mornings when they do have to commute because of two main things. One, the fact that there is not enough parking structures and all of them are costing a high monthly subscription rates that certain employees cannot afford. And then secondly, we also have a high wait list for these parking lot options that are currently available, but very hard to obtain. So the key takeaway from this is the fact that the parking solution for TECO employees can be improved by the company investing in a parking initiative directly benefiting the employees. And then next with the problem we have, we will look at the problems with the current state of parking. As of right now, there's not enough parking options for Tampa Electric employees. And this leads to a negative a negative impact on the work productivity being offered, being provided by the employees. Two main things that affect this is the fact that there's a daily hassle in the morning for employees to find their parking. And this should be resolved by the, by the company and this will immediately lead to benefits for work productivity among various departments in the company. We also see that it leads to a, a unnecessary stress for the employees and this is something that could be resolved and we need to look into this more deeply. The key takeaway is that employees will start to work, will be able to start work on time with time to spare, and this will also lead, this will also possibly lead to uh, employees being able to handle larger workloads. And next, we will look at the strategic solution for TECO employees. The key point in this is that the best solution to this internal problem is to build a parking garage facility, either a parking lot or a parking garage for Tampa Electric employees within a close range from the Tico Plaza building. We can see that the majority of our employees do commute to work and it's essential that they have a dedicated space in order for them to all be able to come, under, come to work on time and be able to know that there's a safe place and reliable place for them to store their vehicle or any mode of transportation while they're working. It is a, uh, create a more inclusive parking environment for all employees and ensure that each employee will be able to have a safe space throughout every day. Next, we have the impact of the new parking facility. The key point of this is that the construction of a new parking facility will help clear up traffic in downtown Tampa. As of right now, there's been many issues with the traffic in downtown Tampa because there's been so many employees who are forced to look for other alternatives rather than having a company provided parking facility. The majority of employees commute long distances and they arrive at the same time, leading to an issue in the mornings when trying to find parking, spot, parking spots such as street parking or meter parking, and these are not long-term solutions. The, key, the less drivers will be searching for street parking if we're able to provide this parking garage facility. And then in conclusion, we can look to all the, all the issues that we have seen throughout this presentation. The fact that there's a burden for the employees of trying to find street parking in the morning versus going to a, park, uh, a provided space in a parking facility sponsored and invested by Tampa Electric for the employees. This will increase morale among the employees. This will increase productivity. This will also decrease and reduce the stress and the dilemma that we have with street parking and other forms of parking alternatives that are not sufficient in the current state of Tampa Electric. This new parking facility in downtown Tampa will be able to provide traffic in the area because employees will have, Tampa Electric employees will have a space to go to and this will not interfere with uh, the regular tourists and visitors or other employees within the Tampa Bay area who 
who also work in downtown Tampa. And new parking facilities solely dedicated to Tampa electric employees will be highly beneficial. And we can see that this is an alternative that was something that we need to do. And I think it is best that we look towards this direction for future solutions. Thank you so much, appreciate it.